This is the most efficient and the best way to trick or treat. Okay, and full size M&Ms. I want Halloween, baby! I don't celebrate Halloween. Okay, people. And a first aid kit. Apple picking, pumpkin picking, pumpkin spice lattes. I'm leading the pack. Let's go. We can wear Halloween PJs and drink soup. Hey, it's spooky season. So today we're diving into the Enneagrams on Halloween. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about costume ideas for different Enneagram types and also what to expect from the Enneagram types in your life this Halloween. So let's jump into it. If you're an Enneagram one and you don't have a costume idea yet, although I highly doubt you haven't planned it, you could go as a suffragette. I made a video about how to make your own suffragette costume, so if you wanna see that, I've put a link in the description below. Another costume idea for ones is to go as Greta Thunberg. She lives a life of integrity and she believes in right and wrong and she is strongly fighting to make the world a better place. And like Greta, you can expect Enneagram ones in your life to have everything under control this Halloween. Okay guys, I made a detailed map of how we're gonna hit each of the houses this Halloween. I guarantee you this is the most efficient and the best way to trick or treat. On Halloween, the Enneagram 2 could go as Cinderella or a monarch butterfly or my personal favorite, Mary Berry from the Great British Bake Off. To me, this just encapsulates what a two is. like the baked goods and, and the sweetness and just the way people love Mary Berry, like that is a two. So I'm just like imagining all of the twos in my life, all of them dressing up as Mary Berry and it's delighting me down to my very soul. And when it comes to trick or treating, you can expect Enneagram twos to be the best house on the block. No contest. I'm giving out full size candy bars at 14338 Saddlewood Drive, so everyone stop by. Please come by. Full size Snickers and full size M&Ms, not the peanuts. If you're an Enneagram 3, some Enneagram pertinent Halloween costumes would be Amelia Earhart or, or a Soul Cycle instructor or Gary V. And when it comes to costume contests, you can guarantee that the Enneagram 3s are gonna win. I want Halloween, baby! I am the best, I did win Halloween, oh yeah, oh yeah! I won the costume contest. Pirates for the win! If you're an Enneagram 4, a good costume for you would be something artistic and, and evocative. Think Vincent Van Gogh, but, but with the ear cut off, or Frida Kahlo, or, or even Bon Iver. But if you're expecting a 4 to go to your Halloween party, you're probably gonna be disappointed. I don't celebrate Halloween. It's too basic. But you're all invited to my Edgar Allan Poe Raven party. There'll be poetry, alcohol, and melancholy. It starts at eight. Enneagram fives could go as a lumberjack with your best flannel and, and a flask and a utility knife. That way when you're out and about on Halloween, you're prepared. <laughs> Not to like stab someone, but like in the case of like some utilitarian emergency, you know what I mean? Other costume ideas would be Sabrina Spellman or Albert Einstein. And when it comes to trick or treating, fives are the one that you want in your group. Okay, people, this is my strategy for getting the most candy from each house. If you're an Enneagram 6, some costumes that would be good for you would be like Princess Diana or Rapunzel or a number one fan for your favorite sports team. You should probably get the foam finger. I think that really encapsulates the six. And when it comes to wild Halloween parties, sixes are gonna be your best friend. Okay guys, in case anything goes wrong tonight, I have cell phone chargers, Pedialyte, Gatorade, a loaf of bread, and a first aid kit. Enneagram sevens could dress up as Elle Woods from Legally Blonde or the doctor from Doctor Who. I also made a video about how to dress up as the doctor, so if you wanna see a tutorial, I'll link that in the description below. And as for what to expect from Enneagram sevens on Halloween, well, what am I doing for Halloween? Um, hayride. No, haunted house. No, apple picking, pumpkin picking, pumpkin spice lattes. I think I'm gonna go to like 18 different Halloween parties. Yeah, sounds about right. Squirrel. 
If you're an Enneagram 8, a good costume for you would be Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones, except not the last season, because I'm not saying that that character turn is what an 8 is, because it's not. You could also be Ruth Bader Ginsburg or Merida. And when it comes to your Halloween haunted houses, you can bet that the 8 is going to be in front. Bundle up, people. This haunted house is not for the faint of heart. I'm leading the pack. Let's go. Some costume ideas for the Enneagram 9 would be a Greek muse or a hippie from the 60s or Jim and Pam Halpert from The Office. And if you're not the Halloween party type, you're definitely going to want to spend your evening with a 9. Mm. Why don't we stay in, cook some comfort food, and, and watch Friends? Oh, we can wear Halloween PJs and drink soup. Let me know if this video was helpful for all of your Halloween planning. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out the playlist of all my Enneagram videos down below. Make sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and happy Halloween. This is a foolproof seal. <laughs> I'll do it again. Woo! Oh, I need my hook. <laughs> Bundle up, people. This font. <laughs> Wear our Halloween PJs and eat soup. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>